Alright, with science fair coming up soon, I thought it'd be interesting for me to show you guys a little science experiment. It's a quick and simple one to do, not really hard. Really, all you're going to need is a hard-boiled egg, but make sure that you peel off the shell. You're going to need um, a match and a piece of paper, and I'll show you how that works later. And you're going to need a bottle with a diameter of the top, needing it to be narrow, and then top of it needs to be no more than one and a half inches and no smaller than one inch. So I have um, a pretty much normal Gatorade bottle here. Normally, if you or your parents have an old milk jug, they know what they are. Those are also acceptable to use. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is you're going to take a match or a lighter if you don't have any matches, and you're going to strike it or click it to light it. You're going to get the fire. Now what I like to do instead of using just matches is I like to light a piece of paper because that makes sure it helps the fire stay going and it just makes sure that the experiment really works. Now you see the fire in the bottle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the egg on top. Now since there's... Whoa! Did everybody see that? Alright. I'll try and replay it again for you guys but what happened there was you can still see the egg in the bottom of the jar is the pressure on the inside because it was so hot we stuck the egg on top narrow side down I also want to mention that when you put the egg on top it's going to be small side down so that it can get sucked in now I'm going to do this again one more time for you guys but just to explain what happened the flame in the bottle heats up the air now as the air expands some of it will escape out of the bottle when the match of the fire goes out the air inside the bottle cools quickly and contracts Thus, it creates a lower air pressure compared to that on the outside of the bottle, and that's what sucks the egg inside.